Oh, it's way too early for this shit. For me, at least. I just want to go back to bed. As soon as they're done, the trash trucks will come. Or they're already here. Okay, so something fucking happened here. I don't know what is going on, but my printer is kind of fucked. Like, um, like it got inked all fucked up on some of the pages. And so I gotta fix that. Okay, so this one's fucked. The cardstock is so thick, it keeps jamming in here. Is this one gonna be okay? That one might be okay. But, um, yeah, just listen to that. This cardstock is way too fucking thick. That might not fit. That might be a little over. Um, okay, let's, let's try this again. I have all these pages here. Okay, so let's see. This one, mm, that might not be okay. See, it folds the corners. It's so fucking hard to get in there. Hmm. I need to go back to a thinner fucking stock. This is crazy. That one's okay, I think. Although that seems misplaced. This one looks okay. That's probably the best looking one so far. This one will not work. That is too far over. This one also will not work. Some of you might say, what if you just printed them one at a time? When I was printing them one at a time, they kept getting stuck. This one might be okay. Um, that one, I think that's too far off. Yeah, that one's too far off. Fucking myself on this one here, guys. This one's good. Uh -oh. Stop, 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 stop. Yes, yeah, stop, stop. Oh, man. Fuck that up. Okay. Okay, so this is my shake I drink. It is, um, actually, I'm, this is what I'm using right now. This isn't what I've always used, but this is the stuff I have this time. It is, um, Elevation Whey Protein Blend with creatine and amino acids. And this is two grams of sugar 
and 30 grams of protein. And I put a little bit more in. And it's uh, 180 calories. So I do this after I work out. And I also put um, coffee in here. And then a little bit of Xylem husk. If I have it, um, I put some Moringa in it. And I actually have some, so I should probably just do that anyway. Um, and then everything else I just take supplements for. So, um, like, like turmeric, I would put in there if I didn't have like a turmeric supplement, but I do. So whatever. So what I used to do is take a bunch of stuff individually and then take like a multi later in the day, but I'm trying to do the multivitamin at the beginning of the day and seeing if that um, changes anything. So I'll take this stuff now, and then later today I'll do, maybe I'll take the mood lift stuff, but I'll take my Bs and my Omega and my C and my Zinc and my D, and um, yeah, and then I'll, I'll take my turmeric and shit later. But yeah, so that is this thing. And um, I got down 20 pounds, which I've talked about before. <clears throat> and uh, let's do that. So I lost 20 pounds and then I've been like working out and shit and then I put five pounds back on, but my body is totally looking different, like 100%. Like I could totally see it now. So maybe I'll put a picture up right now. Um, like. My love handle bits, those are like really going down a lot, which is cool. Yeah, I am just running them errands because that's what I do now. And it's driving me mad. This thing is really strong, it hits hard. I need it to calm the fuck down. Nope, that hurts. What's up, man? <clears throat> uh, let me get uh, a big bag of Red River Blue. And then, um... box of the, oh shit, let me see. Yo, let me get a box of the Premier Hundreds, and then, um, let me get, <coughs> how many packs should I get? Those are six bucks? The six bucks. Okay, um, let me get, um, two with the blues of that. And then um, whatever lighter you have that's not gonna break the second we start. Um, yeah, give me like one of these bigs, that's fine. The that's small fine. one the big one? The small one's mm -hmm. fine. Any color? Yeah, any color is fine. Mm. So like this lighter here, this doesn't work, but like I saved this for doing this thing actually, so. Let me show you. Okay, this is like a horrible angle, but I don't know how else to show this to you with my phone like this. So I just like take the book and then I go like that. And I usually do it like a couple times, like after I staple it, I do like, like that on it. 
and go all the way like over the top, over the bottom, like kind of thing. I swear to God, this happens like every year. They need to get up on the roof of that fucking building right there for some fucking thing. Wow. Wonder if there's actually a fucking fire. Wait, what the fuck is that? I should probably put some pants on. Here comes the firemans. There they go. What do they got on their back? Are they just making a big show just to do it? Like, there's an ambulance, like, all the way down at the other end of the street. Like, what the fuck are they doing? Now they're just hanging out on the roof? So I have to get up, work out, um, do some research. I'm interviewing Michael Malone today from the, he was in the Bukowski Born Into This documentary, and he's, uh, writer in his own right and we're going to talk about his book pinball wizard and um yeah so i gotta do that but i need to do some like things around the house because tomorrow i'm gonna be out most of the day like running around doing shit so So yeah, so um, also another reason why I'm wanting to do this is that um, my deep dark blues are coming back pretty hard and um, I was talking to a friend of mine and um, They're like, just fake it till you make it, you know? Pretend to be happy until you're happy. And it is just a lot easier for me to pretend I'm happy or pretend that I have everything together when I'm making videos, you know? Because when I do stuff like this, especially vlogs, I gotta show you the best me possible, you know? I have to be the best me. So, um, 
it's easier to pretend when I'm doing this kind of stuff. So hopefully that's all right with y'all. Takes me a couple hours to pull it around until I'm people ready, everybody. Just saying. Like, what do you think is the biggest misconception that people have about him? Um, yeah, I'll tell you. Uh, I have a good answer for that. A lot of people think that Bukowski just, you know, that he just, I mean, that he just sat around and drank and knocked out all this work, and then, but mostly just partied and drank. Uh, but Bukowski was a really hardworking guy. Mm -hmm. He had tremendous discipline. I mean, people don't get that. He was answering correspondence from people. It is late and I am drunk. And um, I drink a bottle of wine and now I'm drinking a bottle of champagne. <clears throat> and I was gonna do my um, War All The Time video, the first read through of the poems. But I'm kind of tipsy now, so I thought I should eat something. So I'm going to make breakfast burritos. And I'm making two because the small pan is dirty. <laughs> I'm such a fucking nightmare. I don't know if this is your favorite kind of video or not. I'm not well. And I keep thinking I'm doing better. And then something happens and makes me go, oh no, I'm, I'm doing really shit, actually. Um, I don't know. I'm feeling very overwhelmed with fucking life right now. these but chances are if you ever did this would be the one you watched so good job you win um, I am regretful you did it and I don't even know why because that last year was not good. That first year was the best year of my life. Hand 
and stamp. And I said a lot of dumb things. that I made like I still mean it and I know you think they're lies because they didn't happen in the time you wanted them to happen in but um, I was serious everybody shit but just like I said things that I knew from the beginning and things that we talked about from the beginning all of this we knew about before everything and I don't know so that just goes back to that seeing you in five years thing I guess I just, I know I can't feel like this for another four years, you know, I can't, I cannot. Well, it is raining, <clears throat> big giant rain drops, and I'm sitting in my car in the rain. Some chick started talking to me, so like a douchebag. I was trying to talk back and she was in the back seat of somebody's car and I was like chasing them all up and down Vermont like trying to have this conversation with this chick trying to get her phone number and she kept like starting to give it to me and then the person in the car would like roll her window up and then they would start fighting and then the light would change and they would take off. And then I felt like a fucking stalker, and I'm like, all right, I'm not gonna fucking chase motherfuckers down. I have a doctor's appointment down the street in about an hour, and the it's street sweeping today, so I'm like on the lookout for the parking cop. Oh boy, did I really fuck my fucking life up. Okay, Maggie's was out of tortillas, so couldn't do a breakfast burrito. So I'm looking here at a breakfast croissant. It is opening day at Santa Anita for the winter spring meet. Is this an omen? Is this good luck? Okay, so um, I'm eating my croissant, which or whatever the fuck you wanna call it. And um, I checked the racetrack website to see if there have been any scratches and there's a bunch so um i'm gonna have to kind of redo some maths in my head here um especially race five there's two scratches and in the second race um pratt's horse got scratched and that's where all the money was probably gonna go Shh. And that was going to be like a nice walk for me, but um, 
yeah, so I got two scratches in the fifth. Oh, that was one of my fucking horses, dude. God damn it. Okay. So there'll probably be a couple more um, before the races actually start. Um, one of the favorites out of the six. Ugh. This is kind of a nightmare at the moment. Because they're going to have to redo the morning lines. And a lot of my picks were kind of based on that. Okay, so he's gone. There's a lot of Smith horses going out. Is he not able to be there? I can't tell. I need to go back and look through. Okay, race nine... shot I didn't think it was gonna win okay and then race 10 what do we got oh yeah that but he didn't have a chance in hell but now um, a better horse is gonna give all that public money and that's gonna fuck my shit up so now I'm just waiting for the new morning line so I lost 50 bucks at the track, okay? Um, so I'm gonna give a little uh, advice to anyone who wants to play ponies. I would say stay away from the track on like event days. So like opening day, um, when they are doing like special things like at Santa Anita they have like a carnival thing to like entice people to bring the, bring their kids and shit um they have um certain days like that and the reason why um you should get away from that stuff is that there's going to be anywhere from three to five times as many people there on those days. Now, what that means is you're going to have a bunch of people there who typically don't bet horses or who only do it for fun, like once a year or something. And they have no idea what they're doing and they will bet the odds down on favorites to almost nothing which normally isn't that big of a deal but when you're looking at a bunch of graded stakes races and you're like looking at the field and you're like fuck there really isn't a whole lot of like horses to choose from who could beat the favorite because when you get to that level um the favorites like the first or second favorite is usually going to win and the odds on those horses um when you get that many people like throwing money into something um the odds are going to get knocked down to like four to five or one to two and shit like that. And it's just a fucking nightmare. Like there were 11 races yesterday and I think there was only one race where, um, what was it? A, a, a nine to two won a race and that pays like what? Like 11 bucks on a $2 bet. Um, but other than that, most of the horses that won races were super fucking short odd horses. And like, if you can pick the winner of like, I don't know, six to seven races on races full of short odd horses, you might be okay. <laughs> but 
<clears throat> but when those odds are under even, it's just like, it's fucking impossible. So I was trying to find any horse that had decent odds that, you know, were close to the morning line that I could fucking throw in there and, um, have it fucking do anything and it was just like I lost like the first six races and then um, I won the next two and I'm trying to remember I think the one that I won the most money on was a five to two but um, I bet ten win so like it kind of pulled me up out of a lot of my shit but um, I'm like, okay, I'll try one more. And if I can't fucking pull it on this, I'm out. And um, so I think I left at the after the ninth. Like, I was done. But, yeah, so I lost 50 bucks. So um, I might do Friday. And if um, I'm not doing good on Friday, I'm going to wait till the end of January, beginning of February, before I even think about doing it again. Because I typically, like, what I do is I'll put a hundred bucks in at the beginning of the meet. And then that's my money for the whole meet. And if whatever I make over a hundred bucks, I get to keep that and, like, put that back in my pocket. Um, but I have to leave the hundred there till the end of the meet. And um, this meet ends on June 16th. So, and I already lost half my nut, dude on a bunch of short odd stiffs you know what i'm saying so whatever so that was that the other thing is this vlog you're watching and if you're here still like thank you for spending time with me um but this was basically the last month um, of what's been going on in my life. And if you noticed, um, I was very down and I still am pretty down. Um, it actually was a lot darker than what I showed you. Um, but, uh, it hasn't been great. Like the last couple months, have been really fucking hard and um, I have a lot of plans for next year that maybe I will tell you a bit about um, early in January but there are going to be some major life changes for me and um it's exciting and it's scary and um, I don't know I'm just trying to get out of like a lot of my self-sabotaging behavior right now and um, feeling as like lonely as I've been feeling it's very difficult to try to pull out of that. Um, yeah. So, um, I don't know. I hope you guys had a great year and that your holidays were good. And um, here's to a better year next year. And... Um, I just hope you guys are all doing okay. I hope you're doing better than I am, okay? Um, but I, I want more for you guys than that. So I hope that you're actually doing well. And um, I don't know. I will see you on January 3rd, okay? So do the thing, and I'll talk to you guys later.
Just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.